Hi, Mrs. Smith. My name is Nikki, and I'm your student nurse aide today, and I'm going to give you a bed bath. Is this a good time? Okay, great. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is wash my hands right here, and then I'm going to give you your call light right here. I'm just going to put it right up under your, your pillowcase there, and it's still there for you to grab. Next thing you do, I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the wheels, and I'm going to pull my curtain, and I'm going to make sure your bed is in a low position. Now I'm going to go get my supplies. First thing I want to do is get a barrier. You don't want to get a bunch of towels and have them against your person. You want to make sure you put your barrier down. And then you want to get your towels. So I'm going to get two large towels. And I'm going to get four of my smaller towels. One, two, three, four, and one hand towel. Here. And if you make a mistake, like you don't have all your towels or you don't have everything you need, you can always say, make a correction, let me go get the rest of my supplies. Uh, the next thing I'm looking for is a gown. We need a clean gown. And so you want to make sure that that's on your table because a lot of people, this is one of the m most missteps, is the gown. Mrs. Smith, I'm just getting more supplies over here. Are you okay? Okay, great. I'm going to get my soap and my lotion. And then, even though with the bath, since we're not doing peri care, you, can, you don't have to wear gloves. We're going to wear gloves for this skill because it's, it's a comfort. Plus, uh, you never know if a patient has open wounds uh, or non intact skin. So, uh, will you come in contact with blood or bodily fluids? Maybe. So, let's go ahead and put our gloves on. All right, so this is my setup right here, and then I'm going to get one more thing, which is a bath blanket. Now, the bath blanket is a little bit thicker and heavier than a sheet, as you can see, and I'm going to put this over Mrs. Smith. This is going to keep her warm, but it's also going to serve a purpose of keeping the sheet together and keeping her privacy intact, because it's a little heavy, so it's the, other, the bottom sheet kind of stays in place. So here we go. Alrighty. Now, the first thing I do with a glove skill is I put my gloves on. Next thing I like to do is take my gown off because uh, you can get your water first, but that water will be getting cold. So you don't want to do that. So you, you don't want to expose your patient and you don't want to tie this back in a knot. <laughs> It's harder to get off. So what I'm doing, if you want to, I can kind of bring this up. I'm just gently taking off her gown and not exposing her breast. That's the biggest thing. We do not want to expose her breast. And so now underneath this cover, which I can show you what I'm doing, is I'm just moving this over to the side. But since I, we have to be concerned about privacy, we're going to do that underneath. All right, now we can expose the arm, and that's fine. And if you something's under a patient, you really want to push into the bed to get it because you can produce shearing and friction, and what that causes is skin tears and decubitus ulcers, and uh, that can cause infection, pain. All right, so immediately I'm going to put this in my dirty. This one's for my dry, this one's for my wet and I have my trash can available as well. All right, so now, Mrs. Smith, I got you undressed. I'm gonna go get your water. Would you like your water on the warmer or cooler side? Okay, the warmer side will do. I'm coming on the hot and cold, and yeah, you see I have my gloves on. There's no way I can check the temperature with my gloves on. So after the water gets a little bit warm, I'm going to sit my bucket down and I'm going to feel for it by lifting my glove here. This is a very sensitive area and, and probably uh, the most accurate uh, area to feel that represents the patient. So although I checked the water here, 
I have it all in a bucket, so I need to know what it is in a hole. So I'm going to check it again. I checked it, and it feels really good. Now I'm going to have the patient check it. This is a safety issue. So, Mrs. Smith, can you check the water for me? Let me know if it's a good temperature. Good? Great. All right. Great. Well, we're going to get started then. And you notice I keep the patient closer to me. If they're way over there, just simply bring their shoulders and their hips and their legs to you. Okay? So now what we're going to do is put our towels places. So I'm going to get that hand towel that I had because we got to wash the face first. You always want to go from head to, um, to feet. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this here because I, sorry Ms. Smith, I don't want to get the bed wet. And so we're going to do that like that. All right, so Mrs. Smith, um, I'm going to just wash your face first. And no, there's no soap on the towel. I know you don't like soap on the towel. Kind of damp my fingers so I don't get water all over your bed. First thing I want you to do is close your eyes, okay? That's where we're going to start, okay? From inner to outer corner, we're going to wipe. And then we're going to take the other side, inner to outer corner, we're going to wipe. You can open your, up your eyes now. And now I'm just going to wipe the rest of your face. No, there's no soap on the towel. I've got your ears, under your mouth, your nose, your cheeks, your forehead. All right, got all of that. How's that feel? Good? All right, so I'm just going to put this right here for now, and I have to dry. So let's just pat, pat, dry. Okay, no rubbing, you guys. Everybody, you don't want to rub the skin off. Close your eyes for me, Miss Smith. Great, great. All right, how's that feel? Okay, now we're going to move down. I don't need this towel anymore. I'll get rid of that. And since this has been wet, we're going to put this on the wet side. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, I have my towel underneath here. Let me just show you what I have. So I took one of the big towels and I put it here. And this is going to serve as a privacy and a dry towel. Then I have my other large towel in which I put underneath the shoulder all the way to the fingers, uh, not to wet the bed, and it will also serve as a dry towel as well. All right, so I'm going to put this back over because I'm going to start washing. And I'm going to get my same towel and walk it in the warm water. Since there's no soap on my towel, I can put it in the warm water. But if I had soap on this towel, I cannot put it in the water. So right now, we are going to do a thorough wash with the chest, the neck, the chest, the abdomen, and the arms, and the hand. Okay, so first we're going to start with the neck. And what I like to do is just make sure that I'm not going to get this wet. So I kind of, Mrs. Smith, I'm just going to bring this towel over a little bit there. There we go. All right, so I'm going to wash. start washing your neck and wash the sides of the neck. And then I'm going to go under, and I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. You don't want to expose, but I'm actually washing everything here, all the way to the sides. But I'm not allowing this to be seen uh, while I'm washing, because uh, you can just do this underneath the cover. So what I'm looking for is any sores, rashes under the breast, on the admin, cuts, anything going on. Then I'm going to go over. I still have a soapy warm rag. And I'm going to get the arm. So let me just kind of so you can see that here. Now I'm going to start with the shoulder. And I'm going to go round and round to get the whole circumference of the arm. Okay, so I'm going round and round. I'm getting the hand. And then I'm going to get in between the fingers. In between each fingers. Make sure we get that hand clean. And then up under the armpit. So we just washed. The next thing we have to do is rinse. So we're going to rinse in the same way that we washed. Okay, so we're going to get the neck first. Go on down to the shoulders and underneath here, under the breast, the abdomen, going over to the shoulder. The arm, the whole circumference of the arm, going back and forth to the hand and each finger in between, and then last, the armpit. All right, this is wet, so we're going to put that in here. Now what we are going to do is dry, okay? So we're going to take our dry towel, and we're going to dry. 
And let me kind of show you what we're doing there so you'll know not to expose the patient. So you're just really basically taking this towel and just using it to dry. That's what I'm doing underneath this sheet. I'm just drying the patient, okay? And as I dry, I am looking up under the breast and making sure that I dry all the areas. Be mindful to get the sides and the shoulders and the top of the shoulders, okay? All right, now that we're done with that towel, we can actually take that out. And it's kind of wet too, so we're gonna put that over here on the wet side. And then we're gonna dry this. And this is real easy because we already have the towel here. And so we're drying the top of the shoulder around and we're just kind of pat, pat, patting. And then we're gonna get in between these fingers and then we're gonna dry the armpit. All right, now I'm gonna leave this one here for now because we have one more thing and this is, might be one of the most missteps in this is that people don't turn the patient over to to get to wash their back and give them a back rub. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take the arm. Mrs. Smith, I'm just going to place your arm across your chest because I need to turn you on your side. Okay. All right. So what I'm going to do is kind of shift your hips my way just a tiny bit and bring you my way. Then I'm going to turn you towards the wall on three. Okay. One, two, three. There we go. All right. So what I'm going to do is just kind of Make sure that she's not all the way exposed uh, and that we don't wet this bed. That's why I kept the towel here, okay? Since we're not cleaning her buttocks, we're going to cover that and just get her back. And so remember, I had two more towels here. So now I'm going to get this. Oh, yes, the water is still warm. You want to make that statement that the water is still warm when you take them to the back. Get your soap and get it together here and then we're just going to simply wash the back remember when i told you guys to get the sides this is why because sometimes they may be laying on them it depends on which way you go and then get the back of the neck okay now you come full circle wet and this is a rinse towel remember wash rinse and dry so now we're washing getting the neck, I mean rinsing, I'm sorry, and then we'll put that up, and now we're going to dry with this towel that we already have, pat, 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 and dry. We're going to take that out, that's kind of wet still, and this is when we just get a little dab of lotion, you don't want to get too much, because if you get too much, then you have to take another towel to get it off, so we're going to rub it uh, together to get it nice and warm. Then you're going to go to the bottom, the nape of the back here, and go up and around the shoulder blades. You want to make a circle. Come back down and do it one more time and go around the shoulder blades. We, those are called bony prominences, and we can't rub up and down on bony prominences because they can make a pressure sore. All right, so I can bring her back down. On three, Mrs. Smith, I am going to bring you back down towards the bed, okay? One, two, three. And we are down. How you feeling? Good. You feel all clean. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, before I finish, we got to get you dressed. Would you like to be back in a gown? All right. That's great. So, yes, you can pick your gown up with the uh, with your gloves on. That's fine. And one thing you don't want to do is shake something open, what, because it can. Um, there's dust particles and stuff on here, and bacteria can fly around on dust particles which we call fulmites all right so and we don't want to capture any either so we want to open that up on top of the patient and let them know what you're doing i'm just uh opening up your gown so we can get this on you okay and we're still concerned about privacy and exposure no overexposure so i'm going to put her arm in here so you want to find the hole and you want to make sure that you're not hurting any fingers there. So right now I can kind of pull that down and then I'm going to find her arm and fingers and be very gentle about putting this gown on. Find the hole, I kind of hold the hand and then I also make sure that their elbow is covered. All right. 
So, Mrs. Smith, would you like to keep your sheet or your bath blanket on? Um, you just want your sheet? Okay, so we'll pull this down. Uh, I know that bath blanket can get kind of warm, can it? And then we'll cover you back up. And we're going to get rid of this bath blanket. Be mindful not to put it in the air, shake it, or put it on your person. Okay, that's a safety issue and cross-contamination issue. So we're going to put this in here since it's not wet. And then we're going to straighten out our gown without exposing. Me, I don't like gowns underneath patients because it can cause wrinkles. So I kind of fan fold it outwards and I make sure that they're not laying on it. And as far as uh, the neck, Mrs. Mrs. Smith, I'm gonna uh, just kind of lift your neck up a little bit to get this string under. And I really don't have to do that. I can just push into the bed, okay? Cause I need to secure your gown. I don't like securing gowns with the knot under their neck. Cause again, that can make a sore and a pressure uh, area. So we're just going to tie it to the side. At least it's still secure. All right. So let's just cover you back up. You like to cover people up where at least it's all the way to the neck. And try to make them look presentable. Now, this is a time test. So you don't want to spend too much time on the presentation when you need to get everything else done. All right. So let me go to the next step, Mrs. Smith. Let me go get rid of these supplies and I'll be back. I'm right here in your room still. So I'm gonna pour this in the toilet here. And the way I pour it, of course, I can't. the basin cannot touch the toilet. And you wanna pour it away, because if you pour it forwards, then it can get splash in your face. Then I get about the same amount of water that I had initially in my bucket, so I can make sure that I'm rinsing out and getting all the residue off. Get a paper towel. If you need to, you can, but you need this thoroughly dry because this goes right back into her side cabinet, along with her lotion and other supplies. Almost done, Mrs. Smith. Just still putting up my supplies. If there's any water on the table, you use your barrier at this point and you dry that off. And then to take off my gloves, I am going to do what I call my quack quack. <laughs> so this is a duck and this is a duck. So this duck is eating the glove off of this one, okay? So we're going to pull on She's pulling on it. Then he's going to take it off. And then that duck is going to eat that duck up. <laughs> and it's disappeared, right? Maybe he's saving it. And then uh, put your fingers underneath the other glove and pull this inside out. Let go. A lot of people tend to not let go and they end up pinching the front of the glove. So if you let go it, and you actually pull them off with your fingers where your digits are, then you're really safe. Put that in the trash and immediately wash your hands every time. All right, so let's make sure that she still has her call light. Yes, she does. And there's no weak side or um, strong side with this skill. So you could put it in any hand and there's your call light. Mrs. Smith, this is your call light. So you can call me or one of the other staff and we will be here. Let me just kind of adjust your pillow a little bit. And um, so if there's anything else you need, would you like your curtain open or closed? You would like it open? Okay, here we go. We open up the curtain and your door closed or open. What about your TV off and on? You know, you can say a lot of these things before you leave because if you don't, they're going to push on the call light and then those are some of the things that you could have made sure that she had before she left, such as her bedside table now. You always want to pull the bedside table because a cell phone can be on here, her books, her cards, whatever it is that she likes near her water and you never want that to be way across the room. So that's one of the indirect care uh, preferences and for me a requirement. Now before I finish this skill, one more thing I do, there is going to be a piece of paper or a card on your table from the state exam. And it's going to have the three skills that you're supposed to perform outside of the other two, which is indirect care and hand washing. But you know, you got to do hand washing before you start any skill anyway. So you want to look at, um, there's sometimes there's some bullet points with tips and things that 
you caught it you, you could have caught or remembered and so you want to look at that before you finish your skill and as I do that I wash my hands again in case I forgot and then I see that there's nothing I forgot I look up at the evaluator and I say my skills complete.